Every Minecraft server has an admin, someone who keeps it under control and owns it. But what if that control went into the wrong hands? He literally like hacked into the console. Oh my god. A wither has just spawned in it. Oh no. And can an average guy like me take someone like that down? This all started when we joined a server named Cracklesteel. There was a few other players on. Naturally, I asked the owner for some stuff. He didn't seem that easy to convince, but I knew Pulsify and I had a goal. We should kill the owner, and then we should just leave. It sounded like just what we needed to do. And then almost like he heard us talking about him, he wanted to give us diamond blocks. Okay, what, what? Okay, yes! Okay, bet. And then... He sent the TPA he to me. Oh, he's, oh, he's oh, he's in full ninja and the netherite. It was obvious that he was quite stacked, but now having some good gear, I decided to kill some people in the spawn area to get some more hearts if we actually wanted to kill the owner. He's literally the owner. He's got access to cons. I think our best way of killing him is getting an end crystal. But Pulse made a good point. While Crackle seemed generous and all, I had this funny feeling that all of the stuff he was giving was not legitly obtained. Considering he was the owner of the server, something fell off about his willingness to give anything we wanted. Knowing this, we decided it would be smart to investigate, but we of course needed more hearts. And you want to know why? Oh my god. This person that you can equip it. Oh, that did not, that's not good. I swear, if he says he has like 200 or something. Okay, bro. 50? Yeah. Bruh. Like this was seeming yeah, more and more like Crackle was just abusing his admin. But to gain more intel, we decided to see if we can get to his base somehow. At first, he didn't budge. So I tried to convince him in a Discord call. And it didn't take long for him to finally agree. Okay, hear me out. What if I can promise you that I won't grief your base? Yeah. All right. His base was quite the sight, and he even allowed me to get a full set of netherite armor. Yeah, you can you can take the enchanted stuff if you want. Oh my Ooh, word. I don't care. However, something felt a little off about it. The fact that the entire base was made out of copper. I mean, come on, I'm not an idiot. It's obvious it was world edited. Possibly the 12 shulker boxes on his wall. Or maybe it was the netherite blocks he had just laying out. He did give me some though. Uh, here, you can borrow mine. Alright, let's go. Okay, okay. Maybe it wasn't the best thing to do, but it's free netherite. Now, it could have also been that he had a chest full with a whopping 36 netherite ingots. Just maybe, you know? Okay, well, it's safe to assume he's cheating. The plan at this point was that we wanted to basically kill him, but not just attack him, we wanted to end crystal him. Only problem was that we didn't have anything to make them with. So, Pulse decided to go back to the nether to look for some, while I hung back with Crackle. Oops, I accidentally shot a firework. However, because he couldn't find any, we decided for the time being, we would mess around with the owner a bit. By far the funniest thing was when Pulsify switched out his e-gap. It took him actually quite a bit to notice. Yeah. Dude, someone stole my notch apple. Who? Why what? do people, why, one of you are doing it. I know it. Tyred, stop. It was not me, I swear it was not It's me. one of you. No, it wasn't. I think the best part about this whole scandal was that he got distracted by his copper being messed up with on accident. What? Stop. Why? Why are people axing my base like this? Back to business, though. Pulsify was able to get Crackle to give him some of the end crystal material like the blaze rods and ender pearls. He also gave Pulse obsidian before, too. In addition, Pulse sneakily got some gas tears. Can I have some uh, gas tears for bring invisibility? Gas. But then, all of a sudden, Crackle spawns a literal wither in his base guess what this space isn't real anymore a wither has just spawned in it oh no oh, um, uh, what? Uh, oh my, my goodness oh my goodness so pretty much we were forced to flee apparently his actual base wasn't the copper one is this amethyst it was an amethyst one again obviously world edited hello and you know casually two million blocks away at least now nobody else on the server could possibly find us now because if there was a monument we would constantly get the mining fatigue effect so when i asked for milk to get rid of it this happens i don't see no milk bro there you go okay i did that's a lot you of get it? that's a lot of milk okay here pulsify you want a chest full of milk yeah it's a dude so, there's so why did you give pulsify 500 milk buckets what? i gave him 100 not bro casually just gave me enough to last a lifetime I got the elder guardian effect well luckily we have two chest fulls of milk, bro. Get okay, enough messing around though. The only piece of our plan that was missing to make the crystals 
with sand. And good timing, the owner had to leave for the day, giving us a buffer to enact our mission. With the materials we got though, Pulse was able to only make about two to three end crystals. Okay, I have two end crystals. Though it was a start, we didn't need more. The only ingredient we actually needed now was ender pearls, so we decided to head into the nether. Oh my goodness, I just fell in lava, dude. To make matters even more difficult was that we spawned in one of the worst biomes imaginable. However, since we literally couldn't find any endermen, we did realize Crackle's old base could have leftover ender pearls in it, so Pulse decided to go back and see. And I did too. Okay. There's literally nothing here. I already ravaged everything. Unfortunately, everything was empty, but at least we could take advantage of the enchanting area there. This would help us get a little bit more powerful to take on Crackle. But then something strange happens. Where's the sh other shulker bot? I don't know. I had one of them had more stuff in it too. I don't know where this shulker box went. I think I might have lost. How did you lose it, bro? Are you? Serious? I don't know. How did you lose a shulker box? Luckily, it wasn't anything that important, but really weird. We thought it would be best to not worry about it until Wait. it happened again. Where did the other shulker box go? There was one with the old netherite. Except this one was crucial to our plan of. It had almost our entire stash of killing crackle. Now I think we both know that shulkers can't just disappear out of thin air. It has had to be someone on the server. So I decided to ask the two other players online. Our shulkers this appeared. Of course, they both denied it. But see, I remembered something that happened earlier. You see, when Crackle spawned in a wither, another player on the server, Wizzik, died from it, as there was a death message in the chat from earlier. Meaning, Wizzik has been here the whole time right? To figure out the truth, I tried to get Wizzik on a Discord call to get answers. But then I realized I had been recording Replay the entire time. If you don't know what that is, Replay is a mod that is usually used to get B-rolls, but it can also allow you to see almost anything that happens and load it in your player's render distance. And so, I had an idea. Okay, I'm watching it. I'm watching what happens on the Replay. It was Wizzik! It was Wizzik! It was- <laughs> No way, bro! Are you what? serious? I told you! Oh my god! Okay, look at this. I want I want you to look 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 dude, this is insane. Holy Wizzik, Wizzik, Wizzik. You really think I'm an idiot, don't you? Now having proof, I decided to use this as an opportunity to confront him. And then we hopped in a call. Bro, listen, we need to talk, okay? The proof was undeniable, and Wizzik finally agreed to return the goods. And he almost tried to weasel his way out with a bit of netherite. Yeah, there seems to be everything in here, actually. Okay, so... Except for a bunch of netherite. So if you could give oh. back everything... <laughs> yeah, what happened to that netherite, mate? But we managed to catch him. With all of our gear and supplies back, Operation Takedown Crackle was back in action. Or so we thought. You see, there was a little uncertainty. Wizzik couldn't have possibly known exactly where our shulker was, unless he he was getting help from someone. I think it was the spectator guy, honestly. So you're saying they're working together? Yep. There was only one other player on the server, a player who was in spectator, too broke. It couldn't have been him, right? I have some questions to ask you, Mr. Too Broke. What, what's the problem? Well, I, I, I know you're helping Wizzik, is that right? I am. Are you? Why, why did Wizzik just say, huh? Oh my, how? Wait, 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 can, can you tell me what you guys are up to? Because you're literally, you're helping Wizzik. How am I helping Wizzik? I'm, I'm new to this server. I don't know what Wizzik is doing, but. Bullsh. Let's be real, would Wizzik travel 2 million blocks away from spawn to find us? There is no possible way that they could have gone here without getting teleported by 2 Broke. And yes, it's possible for 2 Broke to teleport people because he's in spectator. If you didn't know, if you're in spectator mode, you can actually use the middle mouse button to pull up a list of every member on the server. And you can TP to anybody, no matter where they are or what they're doing. So what most likely happened is that 2 Broke teleported to either me or Pulse, and then Wizzik sent him a TPA request. Two broke accepted, and thus Wizzik now is in that place. For now, though, Pulse and I logged off for the night because it was getting really late at this point. The next day, we decided because we had so much netherite, we could make a lot of spare sets, and it would be even better if we could give them to people we know. Crackle eventually got on himself, and so we all got into a VC. We had to take a break from the plan. But then another player on the server starts mentioning something peculiar. Apparently, Crackle was destroying players' bases. Secretly, that is. I decided to get into contact with the person 
person who made these claims, Alfie. All right, is this, uh, is this Alfie? Yes. Okay, so here, let me roll it back. Okay, Alfie, what is, are you saying that there's a hacker on the server? Is that, was that what you're trying to say? That's what it seems like. It was a guy named 212, because I, I looked that up on NameMC, and there is somebody named that. Yes. Okay. And uh, there's, like, a chest open. I'm not even near the chest, and it's just open. So, ban, ban him, right? I did, That's... but then it just said on server ban. unbanned at 212. 212. He literally, like, hacked into the console or something and literally, like, unbanned himself. Really? A, a hacker? It's obvious this 212 account was just Crackle on an alt. Way to go, Crackle. Fear-mongering your own players. You know what? It's time Crackle gets taken down. I mean, how much evidence can one person have against them? So, we got back to work. We started setting up shulkers with netherite sets and weapons. And, you know, Crackle casually gave us 1,000 ender chests. Oh my god! What? This would be surprisingly useful as when you break one, you get obsidian that was used to craft it. And also a thousand ender eyes. <laughs> Uh, Perfect for even more end crystals. With nine sets all ready to go, we started to get our friends on and explain the game plan. We hooked them up, of course, with the gear. My favorite word is goofno. Real. <laughs> Stop saying goofno goof for go one. Goofno. Goof, goof. Five people was nice and all, but I decided to get a few more. We need Guys. nine people. Wow, look at this. The cavalry is coming in. So now with basically seven people, all with full netherite, things were coming together perfectly. Unfortunately, I had to go get a haircut, so I had to everybody wait. Luckily, when I came back, everything was still in motion. The owner was on at this time and Pulse was ready to strike. And if we couldn't get any luckier, he was AFK just sitting in his base. We just had to wait for the right moment. Hey, everybody, stupid, okay? sneak, outside, no, sneak outside, sneak no, outside, sneak outside. Okay, sneak, sneak, sneak. Everybody just sneak. Make sure he doesn't see your name tags. I swear to you, though, even though we had the numbers, these people legit had no chill. Hi, guys. If he starts moving, I'm gonna like... Guys, guys, hold on, hold on. Don't hit him. Dude, you're gonna kill him. What are you doing? I'm blowing up crystals. Guys, I'm okay, being guys, cool. Guys, watch. Bombs the entire thing. What's this? Guy. Oh, oh my. We decided to also block up his base with obsidian and ender chests so that he couldn't get out when he did come back. Bro, look at all these E chests. <laughs> and yes, we got all this stuff from him earlier. And yes, he did cheat them in. Insane, I know. But right as we were distracted, this happened. You went spectator! You went spectator! What? Oh my word. Now, I'm not gonna say that we didn't see this coming, but uh, we did see this coming. However, we knew we had to get him back. We couldn't just let him cheat his way out of this. With hope running out we thought we had lost everything but then crackle does yeah, well, this bro i could literally go 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 oh my word how much health is this guy oh my goodness what well there goes plan a our teammate whale and crystalline him now we had to go okay. in ourselves it's okay guys i have full hearts i'm going in yeah, I wonder how I died. You're hitting me, you're hitting me, you're hitting me. Though our team was dropping like flies, I couldn't let Crackle win. And then he broke his way out. We had to chase him down. Bro, why are you guys doing trap me in the first place? Dude, 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 his helmet broke, his helmet broke. He's, he's running, he's running, he's running. Yeah. Right, run. Bro, just accept your fate, my guy. Well, except he started flying. I'm Ashwag. I'm Ashwag. I'm Ashwag. You're not Ashwag, bro. You're you're literally a coward. You won't even fight. Fortunately, he stopped, but then something happened that I would have never seen coming. Well, kinda. Bro had a whole arena set up for us. And if things couldn't get worse, guys, Pulse died. Oh my god. You guys mad or something? You guys mad? You guys bro, mad? you literally are uh -huh. admin abusing. You keep going into creative. Just stop going into creative, bro. You literally you won't me, fight me. Get... Yeah, you live. Now I'm you're totally in the there. <laughs> you won't fight me. Why you're why literally a coward. You... Crackle flew away. However, what I didn't realize was that he left to go repair his armor, and now he was back up to snuff again. I knew I couldn't let that intimidate me, so I had to go for him again. There we go. I just got my armor. Me. You just what, what, what? I don't care. Well, yeah, because now, because, because We're... now you had time to re-gear. That's unfair. You literally had full netherite. I don't have anything. You're your armor broke. Netherite. We broke your armor. Right, are you so insane? Pulse, nicey, where are you? Help me out, man. Uh, I have five hearts. Please, uh, okay. <laughs> please. please. We are just good at PvP. How about stop how running? Are. How about just fight us, bro? Stop running. I don't care like what you say. Just fight. Are, are you gonna, are you seriously gonna run again? What is that? How yeah. many hearts do you have? This is obviously not fair. You think that some crystals work? Oh no. my word. I'm dead. GG guys. GG dude. I mean you're yeah, dead. Yeah, you can kill me. I truly How are you so. dead? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm on your heart. Bleed him up, bleed him up. Oh, I it. can't. It's too laggy. What? Kill me, kill me, kill me. Yeah, kill me. 
Kill me, kill me. Do what oh I turn my you word, bro. Against all odds, we had finally killed him. Was it that he felt remorse for us, or was he just that bad at PvP that he finally just threw in the towel? All I knew at this time was that we had achieved our goal. And of course, we got all of his loot too. But there was something that felt off. It almost felt like Crackle just let us win, and killing him once isn't going to do the server any justice. He's still going to cheat and basically ruin the experience for the other players. We had to find a way to bury the hatchet once and for all. And here's another Tyrad video you may like. Subscribe!